I still confide in, in our prayer, per, uh, the prayer line, <laughs> conference line. Touch and agree, buddy. And you're looking for a bailout. And God is looking for your heart. Many are still waiting for a friend or a brother who, who is connected to give them a handout. Many are still waiting for other men to hold our hand and lead us forward when we could very well do ourselves the favor. Yeah. I'm not trying to breathe independence, but I'm trying to show you that and we can't just keep saying, I have no man. I have no help to get me to the water when it's stirred up. I can't use that as a crutch no more. Under the gospel, the New Testament, the Bible says in Hebrews 8, from the least to the greatest. From the preacher to the pools, pews. Everybody. I was reading something. I forgot the quote. Uh, I think it's Charles Spurgeon. He said that every disciple of Jesus Christ should be a theologian. Every. Which means a student of the scriptures. I believe it. I believe it. I believe all y'all should raise your game. So he wanted to wait on somebody else to get him to his next level. And the thing about it, if that person that's supposed to take you there is jealous, you may not get it. Because you got to watch. Because they may have been good in one season. But in the season you're going in, they, they recognize the graces on your life and see something totally different than the whole season. Which simply means they won't give you any more handouts. So you're going to find them going to be a little sensitive to you. <laughs> because God never planned for them to take you to your next season. But when you connect with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, you don't never have to wait on the handout. He gives you a hand up. So we need a hand up. We don't need a hand out. Jesus was coming to get his man a hand up, not a hand out. <laughs> Unfortunately, this, this man represents a day who some of us who become aware of the terrible spiritual condition in which we find ourselves. They've been sick with a, a, a paralysis because to be impotent in some translation, I don't know why they made it that way, but it's the wrong uh, a translation of that. But I'm uh, just using some of the translation. One of them said it had, he was par uh, paralyzed. And we have this paralysis on the inside of us because we're dysfunctional. Mm -hmm. The carnal mind has usurped its authority over us. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it made us complicated things concerning our life. It made us impotent as it relates to the things of God. So we can't produce as we should. Mm -hmm. Everything is set in place, but we don't have the energy that's needed yeah. Amen. to produce the life that God has mm -hmm. already set aside for us. Amen. Amen. Our ego many times is in the way. To say there's we to say there's no man is to marginalize. When we say to the Lord at times, say I ain't got nobody to help me, God. No, I got no man to bring me to my next season or to, to, to take me out of this level of impotence. We're, we're, we're marginalizing the potency of the cross and the realization of God's present posture to exceed beyond our own limitations. Yes. He wanted to stay in that confine. He wanted to be confined to his situation. He'd been in it a long time, but his confession was, I know no man. Yeah. All of us can sit around and, and cry about what we didn't have. Some of us still cry <laughs> spiritually what we didn't have. It's never, it never was to depend on others more than it was for us to depend on God. Amen. You'll never see the fulfillment of God's purpose for your life depending on others. Amen. You can't depend on family, friends, and even yourself to, for that will bring despondency and disappointment in your life. Yeah, yeah. Most of us are, we can see, we can be in a service, the, the water's in trouble, the word is decent, the worship is okay, and all that stuff is happening, and there is just a, a vein in the Holy Ghost but yet, we can't get in because we're looking at the wrong source. Yes, yes. Waiting on apostles, prophets, uh, uh, prophets, prophets. 
to get us to the next place, to give us, get us out of this condition, which you got to understand you've been in it a long time. But there is a solution. Christ is the solution, yeah. not the man. Yeah. Yeah. So this man almost lost the impact of the question that he asked him. Because he wanted to give his situation and not his solution. So Jesus is still asking us. We have the opportunity to say yes to the Lord. But many times we're rendered powerless and defective because we have an overwhelming sense of inadequacy. Because we're always assessing what we don't have. That's good. And to be honest, it's never what you don't have. It's always about using what you have. Yes. Yes. Moses came up to the Red Sea. He didn't pick up a new rod. Right. He didn't go to a tree and whittle it out. <laughs> he didn't have time. Am I right? Yeah. God tells the dude, you got something in your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he said, stretch that. <laughs> he stretched it. Yeah. You can find that thing go through all of it. Manifestations in scripture, you'll find out it, it wasn't necessarily a new thing. Even when the waters they got to the uh, to the waters, they were bitter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look around, Moses. There's trees around you. Dude. Cut it out. Throw it in the water. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Good. Am I, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But we're looking for something else to happen. Yeah. I can't prophesy. I, I tried. I've been through seven, three seminars. I can't prophesy. Well, actually. It's not necessarily that you can't prophesy. You're not necessarily following the instructions. <laughs> Trust me, it is. Somewhere along the line, there's a missing link. Because God honors the heart. You can sit in a, a, a curriculum. You can sit in the seminars. You can go from place to place. God looks at the heart. You have to tell yourself, God, why well, don't have the desire to connect to you on that level? Because he gives us the kingdom liberally. Yeah, great is not. I'm talking about wisdom and the kingdom, same thing. He, wanted, he, can, he gives it to us. So we have to stop taking inventory of our weaknesses because they disqualify us from the victories that God intended for us. He has assigned a measure of victory to us, but if we keep disqualify ourselves by saying, I got no man. Mm -hmm. So we try to get close to next, some people. I got some friends that they want to go to everything that's happening in the earth. Every conference. They just want to get close to him. Mm -hmm. I used to be that way. I was a gospel uh, junkie, a gospel groupie. I found out it's not the man. It's not that man. It's the inner man. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the man of my heart, the hidden man. Victory's going to come out of, with, out of here. So we got to quit looking for outside help. We got to use what God has given us inwardly. Amen. Get active in what you have. Yeah. Refrain from the excuses you made all of your life. Yes, yes. Amen. Pull the plug on that stuff. And then he had the nerve, like he said, I don't know, man. Then he really went deep. And insecurity. Every time I move, somebody move ahead of me. <laughs> Sound like some people, right? <laughs> like, like, uh, 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 I really was intended to to get close to apostle and prophet, but every time I get close, somebody else want to get in the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You never heard of that, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what we, some of the excuses we use. It's the same scenario, huh? <laughs> Yeah, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> we always want to blame somebody. Because if I blame somebody, I'm no longer responsible for it. It's the greatest way to appease your conscience. It's to put it on somebody else. Put it on mama, put it on daddy, put it on somebody. Let somebody carry the thing. I want to put this blame on you. And when you do that, you disqualify yourself. From the solution. Amen. Amen. Especially when he didn't ask him that. He asked him, Do you, would you be made whole? He, he didn't ask for his, his, amen. He didn't ask for his resume. He didn't want his whole history lesson. He, you know, he went through the whole backdrop of everything that happened in that season. 
<laughs> look, 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 I could have did it, but you know, man, these people over here, man, they thirsty. And they, you know, I'm looking over at the day in a hurry. I'm looking at them. Maybe they don't leave me out. Am I right? That's what happens. We, we feel like we've been left alone, and isolation is not a curse. Sometimes God will isolate you to educate you. So we got to cleave to something. Yeah. He's, he was ready to blame other people for his inability to get in the war. Ready to blame other people's activities for his own mediocrity. Because I mean, you know, sometimes you get around people, some certain folks, they carry such a fervor and a fervency in the spirit, it'll provoke you to love and good works. Yeah. And you start blaming them. They always busy. Every time they want, they want to do, 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 do. And it happens here. I mean, it don't even directly affect you, but you got to commentate. It got nothing to do with you. But you got to editorialize. Huh? We're we going to do, we're going to get you a big hat, put it on your head. Back in the days of the 50s and 60s, <laughs> now I'm thinking about uh, uh, that Superman. <laughs> and, you know, when you look at it, the, the press used to have a press, a press hat on. Remember that? Yeah, we're going to get you one little head. <laughs> like you. Oh, Lord. You can't, you don't have to commentate on everything. It's a sign, it's a sign of jealousy. Oh, could you just say that? See, because it's too easy and convenient to blame other people for our problems. I ask you on tonight, who are you blaming? Are you blaming me? Huh? Who are you blaming? You got, somewhere along the line, you have to take responsibility for your action. You have to own it. You have, if you don't own it, if you don't own it, you will never get the solution. Gotta remember, you can fool all the people. Some of the time. But you can't fool God none of the time. So we, we, try, we try to uh, not get exposed to a, a lot of friction and correction and, 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 and adjustments. And, and we take the route that's without a lot of tension sometimes. But those are the best place for God to do what he needs to do in you. 